<clears throat> Hi everybody, Wendy here, Lolly Dolly Crafts, and welcome to um, part two of um, tags. Now, I, yes, the last time, um, my last video, which was um, in tags one, I showed you some very, very simple production line type uh, Christmas um, tags. And what I'm going to do is show you today um, a more intricate or more decorated tag um, that you can do, which can be given in place of um, a card. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out a bit so you can see a bit more of what I'm doing. Okay, right. Oh, so I've got a whole selection of goodies and bits and bobs and I have no idea how this tag is going to turn out. I've got a selection of Prima, I've got some craft box, um, from my craft box goodies, um, you know, some frames. I'm going to just ha just have a play, some, some of this stuff here, I don't even know what it's called but it's lovely. Um, I'm going to do a bit of texture paste, um, yeah, so we're just going to have a play. Okay, so first of all, this is a Julie Nutting Prima tag, okay. And this is going to be the base of my uh, tag. Um, I've also got a piece of, this is just from my scrap box. Um, this is uh, by, is it a, I've chopped the bottom off so I don't know who this is and who the make of it is. So I can't tell you but it's um, it's a very nice shabby sheet type paper. I'm going to add this as well to my um, my tag. So by the time I finish my tag is going to be quite dimensional. Okay, so uh, is that, which is, oh, that's the right way. So what I'm going to do, um, I want to, um, I want to sort of like rip, distress my um, tag, uh, this tag. Okay, so I'm going to get my this is my primal one because it's just a bit too tidy for me at the moment. So I'm just going to go round the edge. So what I'm going to do, I want to, I, I like um, this part here, so I'm going to rip I'm going to rip that part there, okay? Um, I'm just going to that stay, I'm just going to go I do do mixed media. Um, I also I do like quite a, you know different. I'm quite eclectic in about what I can do, but I do have obviously shabby sheets my my all time favourite. Um, I do like playing with you know different mediums and sort of using different different products. Okay, just put a look at that. Oops. It's not, I don't just want that, uh, I want more layers, so before I put that down I think I want another sort of square layer, um, now this is, this is actually um, the Tales of You and Me packaging, but I actually really like this, so I'm going to just Scrunch this up, make it look even more sort of distressed. Just sort of go around. Okay. So.
Right, so what I'm going to do, I've got some cardboard here. Because I'm so tight, I'm going to use this as uh, raising up my... Oh! I'll give it that dimension, so I've got one. I'm going to stick it on with some hot glue. can use um, obviously you know the double sided tape but it does the same thing it's no you know it's no, it's no different it's just cheaper <laughs> okay just need to stress this a bit more dimensional so I'm not going to do it edge to edge because I want this space here so I can, you know, pop things in like um, I've got some um, like that. Okay, so I'm going to stick this down. These are just the scrap netic, um, you know, pieces. So I'm just adding these. I love these. They're so nice. what we've got so far. Okay. So um I think I'll pick a thin one and to put down there. Um I've got some of these uh leaves as well I'm just going to uh not leaves, but you know, just going to add a bit of uh, colour to them, and it just makes them less, um, it makes them more dimensional by adding the colour, you know, some colour to them. It doesn't make them so flat. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the fence yet, but uh, just in case we'll add some colour to it. 
to it. Just in case. Okay. Oh. I'm just going to get my modeling paste. Home, my homemade modeling paste. Okay. So. Oops. Sit down here. Okay. So I'm just gonna. Dry that off. Um. I've got some, this is from my craft box, okay, and I've got some little uh, like card images, so I'm going to see whether I can fit one into the uh, frame there, um, not those ones, um, These are a bit like windows. Um, that's quite nice. Okay.
lots of flowers, some flowers. We need to get more sharp on those horrible scissors.
pack. There we go, and I'm just going to get, these are from my craft box, this is like a monthly subscription I get, I'll leave the link to it down below, um, I love this craft box, my craft box, I just craft box, so, these are absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. Like got like an aurora borealis look about them. They're gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just gonna put, quickly put these away. I don't want to lose them. Because they're tiddly, they're hard to pick up. Um, right. Oh. Oh, what have we got? Oh, right. um, this is a lemon craft. Oh, I think I'll use the clock one.
What is our little fairy? I'm probably going to leave. That's probably it, I think. Okay, so, but what I'm going to do for the window there, I don't actually like because it's really white. So I'm going to get some of my glossy accents. And I'm going to add some in the middle of here. Um, if you just add it, add a dollop in and let it self level. Okay, I'm going to, it will dry clear. So I'm just going to judge it about with my, and then if you just tap it on the bottom, on its bottom, if any air bubbles not that's in there will go. And it will be completely clear. Just a little bit more. There we go. I'm just going to flick it on the bottom. And then I will let that will dry. It just takes the, the stark whiteness of that off. So there we go, that's my tag. Um, I will add um, possibly uh, a tassel or something to the bottom. Um, I'm also going to use um, my gorgeous snow text, which I absolutely love. And I'm going to just, I normally use my fingers, but I'm just going to use this brush and I'm just going to have it. Uh, snow text is great also for highlighting where your glue strings, your glue strings have gone. <laughs> I love this stuff. Okay, so I've just added a bit of my snow ticks just to shove you up around the outside, and uh, that's my tag. So um, I hope you've enjoyed, and um, you know, the um, me making this tag, and uh, I will um, do some more because uh, they are fun to make. Okay, so bye for now, and I'll see you again soon. I've got to tidy my desk up now. See ya.